Thank you. Uh, my name is Hiroshi Shimamoto. I work for NHK Japan Broadcasting Corporation. And today I will talk about uh, development of 8K UHD TV cameras and image sensors. And uh, as Rich said, uh, it is a little bit different from the ATSC 3.0, but uh, I'm happy if you could feel uh, some of the future of the broadcasting. Uh, this is the outline. First, I will talk about what is 8K UHD TV. And then I will talk about our development about 8K cameras and image sensors. And finally, I will talk about our latest development, high-speed imaging and the slow motion system. Progress of TV is depending on the progress of the screen. Uh, around in 2000, we have moved from standard definition TV to HD TV. At the same time, a screen device has uh, changed from CRT to panel devices. Then, around in 2011, uh, 4K screens have been appeared in the market. And then, 8K screens are realized in Japan, China, and in the US. The resolution is 8K by 4K. Uh, that means uh, 16 times of pixel count than uh, HD TV. 8K UHD TV or uh, UHD TV2 uh, is the next generation TV system that conveys a uh, uh, feeling of sense of being there and the sensation of realness. The system realizes very high resolution and a wide, view, wide viewing angle. The 8K UHD TV also realizes uh, three-dimensional surround audio. This slide shows a roadmap of 4K, 8K broadcasting in Japan. This plan was organized by the Japanese government. In 2014, 4K test broadcasting has started. And in 2016, 8K test broadcasting has started last year. And uh, next year, in 2018, 8K practical broadca broadcasting will start. And uh, in the future, uh, 2020, uh, which is Tokyo Olympic, Olympic Games year, uh, many people will watch 8K TV in their home. This is an example of 4K 8K test broadcasting a program of the day. Every day from Monday to uh, Sunday, uh, from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., uh, we have lots of 4K 8K uh, programs, uh, such as uh, documentary, uh, nature, uh, scenery, drama, music, kids, variety, education, and so on. This is the video parameters of the UHD TV. It is uh, specified in international standards such as the recommendation ITUR BT 2020 and BT 2100. The main parameters are listed here. The uh, pixel counts are uh, 8K and 4K. Frame frequency is from 120 Hz to uh, 24 Hz with progressive scanning. Bit depth is 12 or 10 bits, and colorimet colorimetry is wide, color, uh, wide gamut RGB. Dynamic range is both standard and high dynamic range. And in those video parameters, the highest parameters such as 8K, 120 Hz, uh, wide color gamut, and HDR, it's called full feature. Eight, uh, full featured 8K. This shows an example of the reproduced image of 8K. It has a limited resolution of uh, more than 4,000 TB lines. And this uh, uh, conventional H, uh, TB system uses up to 60 Hz. Uh, but when object moves fast, uh, sometimes motion blur has occurred. 
and uh, with 120 hertz, uh, it realizes a less motion blur artifact. And this shows the wide color gamut. Uh, the UHD TV reproduces 99.9% .9 of exist existing color, uh, where a conventional HD TV uh, covers only about 70% uh, of the color. HDR uh, can reproduce a wide range of brightness. Uh, with standard dynamic range, we couldn't reproduce both dark and bright screens uh, scenes at the same time. But with the HDR, we could reproduce both the face of the person and the bright background. The same thing frequently occurs when we shoot a sports game in, in the daytime. With HDR, we can reproduce both the dark field and the bright sky. To realize the uh, featured 8K video, we developed a, wor a world's first camera that uh, covers all parameters values. Pixel count is 8K, and the frame frequency is 120, bit depth uh, is 12, Opti uh, and the optical color uh, separation prism is designed for wide color gamut, and the dynamic range is HDR. The emission size is 1.7 inches, with, and the color pickup is three-chip color system. The sensitivity was f-stop uh, 7 at 2,000 lux, uh, with uh, signal-to-noise ratio 45 decibel. The head weight is uh, 45 kilograms. Oops. This slide shows requirements for 8K image sensor because there is no uh, manufacturers uh, for the 8K, so we have to start from uh, developing uh, image sensors. The main requirements is, of course, uh, pixel count and the frame rate. And next, uh, preferable, preferred requirements is the bit depth of the ADC uh, that is included in the uh, image sensor, and also the low power consumption, because the, if the power low, lower, the uh, better picture quality. And optical size is coming from the uh, limitation of the lens uh, resolution. And also the uh, uh, availability of uh, uh, market availability of the lens is also uh, important. This is the image sensor we developed for the uh, full featured 8K. The pixel count is 8K, and the uh, frame frequency is 120. Uh, bit depth of the on-chip ADC is 14. The power uh, consumption is 3.2. And the aggregate output data rate is 64 gigabit per second. The camera system consists of a camera head and a camera control unit called CCU. In the camera head, there are three 33 megapixel image sensors for RGB colors. Optical prism separates incident light to those primary, primary colors. The output signal from the uh, image sensors are, are transferred to the CCU over a fiber optic camera cable. In the CCU, camera signal processes a gain control, high dynamic range control, uh, pixel realignment, and so on. And 8K signal is then output uh, through an ultra-high definition signal data interface called USDI. USDI uh, is an optical interface to connect baseband signals in the studio. It has 24 multi-mode, multi-channel optical fibers with uh, bayonet type lock connector. Each fiber has 10 gigabit uh, bits, uh, therefore, in total, 256 uh, gigabit per second can be transmitted. It supports uh, full-featured 8K signals. 
It is already a uh, standardized in ITU BT 2077 or simply uh, 2036 4, and uh, Japanese standard arrive standard uh, B58. Next, I will talk about the compact size ATK camera. Uh, to, realize, to realize a practical camera, downsizing is, uh, the camera head is especially important. The left picture shows our first generation ATK camera head. It, uh, it weighs uh, more than 50 kilograms, so we have to uh, need uh, four people to carry the hammer head. But the right one is the, our uh, smallest 8K camera, which weighs only two kilograms. A uh, single chip color image sensor was used to capture color information with one image sensor. In the sensor, a very small on-chip color filter array is attached. The camera system consists of camera head, a head adapter, and the CCU. And in the adapter, in the adapter, the multi-channel optical signal are converted to one signal, a single mode optical signal, using four wave, wavelengths multiplexing. In the CCU, optical signal is converted to electric signals and processed. The CCU outputs 8K, 4K, and 2K videos simultaneously. Uh, as the camera head uh, camera is compact and the frame rate is uh, frame frequency is high, it is suitable especially uh, for shooting sports content. By using with, uh, this camera, we have shot various kinds of contents such as 2014 FIFA World Cup soccer and other sports events. Uh, this slide shows a difference between 120 hertz and uh, 60 hertz frame frequencies. As you can see, 120 hertz uh, realizes less motion blur <coughs> artifact, and it looks more natural. Uh, finally, I will uh, introduce one more another uh, uh, 8K camera, a full resolution single chip camera. A big difference from other cameras is the uh, pixel count of the image sensor. It has 133 uh, megapixels, so that it anymore don't need an uh, interpolation process for 8K imaging. The camera head weighs six, uh, six kilograms, and the uh, CCU is 13 inch, uh, centimeters high. The only regret, uh, regretful thing is that uh, this camera is not capable of 120 hertz, but only 60 hertz. The, uh, image, uh, the image format of the sensor is 35 millimeter full frame size. Uh, therefore, the total camera resolution is extremely high. The left picture uh, shows a footage of the lady's face. Uh, it could even express a very fine eyelash. Now, uh, to enrich 8K uh, UHD TP contents, high speed imaging and slow motion uh, replaying are important. Next, I will describe our latest research and the development for slow motion system. An exp uh, experimental uh, high-speed imaging and recording system is shown in this slide. The camera head can capture 8K 240 hertz images, which is four times faster than the uh, 60 hertz. The signal uh, data is transmitted to the <coughs> CCD, uh, CCU through a 200 gigabit uh, BPS optical signal. From the CCU, uh, 8K signal is output with 420 uh, color subsamples, not the true 444. It is because to bring the high-speed video data with one USDI interface. The signal is then transmitted to the high-speed 8K compression recorder. It can record uh, the high-speed image for more than one hour. For the recorder, it can replay a slow motion images with a variable playing speed. 
We also, uh, to realize uh, such a high-speed capture, uh, we newly developed an image sensor. Uh, pixel count is uh, 33 megapixel, and the uh, pixel size is 1.1 micrometers. Frame frequency is 240. Uh, the power consumption is 3 watts. Uh, this slide shows an example of 8K slow motion. Uh, slow motion. Uh, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, the image is yet uh, monochrome, but we are now uh, trying to develop a color system. Darumoto uh, is a Japanese uh, old uh, traditional game. Let me summarize the, our development of 8K cameras. Uh, the one is a full-featured camera with three-chip imaging, and the next one is ultra-compact camera with two kilograms. And the third one is a full-resolution camera with 133 megapixels. And the last one is the high-speed camera with 240 hertz. All cameras are used in the field, and it, is, it will help to enrich the 8K contents. And the 8K image is sensors. Uh, we developed uh, three types. Uh, one is uh, full featured, four full featured, and the next one is uh, high, uh, extremely high resolution, and the third one is uh, high speed image sensors. Recently, a uh, big news was announced from Sharp. Uh, they will sell the 8K TV with 70 inches in this winter. The price will be uh, $10,000, maybe. <laughs> I hope uh, 8K broadcasting will be more in common soon in the future. TV technology progresses with a big events such as Olympic Games. Uh, we already have tried to public viewing with 8K from London Olympic. In the Rio Olympic, 8K test broadcasting uh, uh, with terrestrial was experienced. And in, two, uh, in, in two, uh, 2020, many people will watch the uh, Tokyo Olympic Games with 8K in their home. Uh, we will continue to develop 8K technologies for future. Thank you very much. This is just a simple question, and it, there may not be an answer yet. You have 8K origination. It, are there parallel developments going on for storage, recording? Recorder. Yes, uh, it is a very uh, important uh, problem because, the, as you know, the data rate is extremely, extremely high. And uh, if you need, uh, prepare a terabit, uh, terabyte uh, recorder, it can record only the uh, less than one hour. So uh, the compression technology is important. Uh, now we are trying to uh, develop a recorder, uh, two types of recorders. One is uh, uh, compressing about uh, one tenth, and uh, the the other one is uh, uh, one uh, eighteenth. Uh, what first one is for uh, stu uh, using for a studio and. Uh, lower uh, compression ratio, and the higher compression is for the uh, future uh, home uh, uh, recorder. Thank you. Thank you. So, in appreciation.